Hello everyone, hi, welcome to the channel of Wall Street Mojo. Friends, today we have a topic which is your stock options versus RSU, that is restricted stock units. Let's try and understand this uh, in a complete detailed format. Now see, stock option versus uh, restricted stock units are closely related, but you know, they have many differences between them. See, when we talk about uh, the stock option, it means, you know, the employee, employee stock option, and you know, not the uh, call and uh, put option. So you need to take care on that. It's what we are talking about is the employee stock option and not the oh, derivative instrument. The stock option is, you know, it, it is given to, to high performing employees as a part of their remuneration. So stock option versus restricted stock units, that is the SO versus RSU. They can use the shares and can make a profit later as per the terms and the condition of the stock options. Like, you know, if for example, if a company hire a CEO and offers him, let's say 20,000 as a stock options the company determines that you know the term of the stock option in such a case or in such a is such that the ceo would be able to exercise the right of the stock option after the for three years from joining the date so now the ceo receives the stock option at a rate of uh, let's say four dollar per share so his purpose would be to increase the stock price as as you know higher as he can in the next three years and you know in after the three years he can still uh, sell his stock later let's say at 15 dollars and can make profit of 11 over here that is a huge profit so often you know stock options are offered to employees who perform exceedingly well and you know also the stock options are given a discount the stock options are given a discount now, what exactly over here the discount means it means uh, you know that uh, it is less than price of the stock at that very particular point so that you know the stock options can be considered as re as a reward on the other hand you know the rsu that is a restricted stock units in the organization is offered to keep the exceptional i repeat exceptional employees in the organization but the way the rsus are constructed is different rsus are paid as per the you know what we call as the vesting you can see as per the vesting schedules and they don't offer all the shares together let's understand this difference in a detailed format stock options versus the rsu well on the offer date stock options can be issued any time after the issuance it can be issued after the issuance and over here the rsu can also be issued any time after the issuance so in both the scenario stock can be issued after the issuance date now the shareholders right there is a full right of the shareholders offered. That is the person who is uh, been imparted such shares. He enjoys full right of the shareholders uh, that is being offered. Over here, the RSU of the uh, the restricted rights of the shareholders have been offered. There will be some clauses. There will be some kind of st stringency that will be involved in as a part of the clause. That's RSU. The voting right, just like as the full right of the shareholders are offered. So the stock options, they are considered as full share without any sort of restrictions so the voting rights are absolute but in case of rsu uh, the voting rights are not given as, as restricted stock units the dividend paid the stock options in case of the stock options just like they are ordinary shareholders they are absolutely pay, being paid dividend and over here no dividend has been paid or will be as you can see you know there is no voting right there's no uh, dividend that has been paid you see there is a uh, restrictions that have been involved in case of rsc the settlement after the vesting see after the vesting period is over the stock options become a this is very important common stock and it depends on the called employee how he or she wants to exercise that option now in the case of rsu the terms are followed and the shares offered are set so the settlement can be deferred for receiving the tax benefit but a certain to the certain extent well let's see the next one the payment during the settlement in case of the stock options set at the time of the settlement the stocks have been in case of rsu the cash or it may be stock that can be important. what is the tax treat see in case of the stock option taxes are paid at the time of the sale of the long-term capital gain rate that is at the time of the disposal otherwise for non-qualifying non-qualifying disposal or disposition taxes are paid at the time of the sale at the income tax in case of rsu the taxes have been paid on the vesting and not at the type of disposal if at the time of the settlement company grants stocks and employee keeps the stock for more than 12 months then the capital gain treatment can be well that is it for the differences we have discussed in total seven differences by far now and you should be having a clear idea exactly what is going around i will take an example a short one so that you have a more you know an attachment towards uh, this particular topic see let's say there's a uh, call 
Mr. KG, he is a great employee of his organization and he wants to keep him to entice him to say that the company decides that, you know, they would pay KG closely to 2000, what we call as RSU. But as for the investing schedule of 400 shares each year, 400 shares each year for the next five years. Okay, So if Mr. KG, if he stays in the organization for the next two years, he would only get how much? 800 shares. So there is another part of RSU, which we need to understand that, you know, when RSUs are offered, it also thing called capital gain taxes, income taxes. So companies that pay capital gain, capital gain taxes, income taxes, they employ the employees who are offered the RSUs need to pay those taxes. Now, if you take the example of over here, Mr. KG, let's say, you know, each RSU can be sold at $10 per share. He has been offered how much? 1000 into 10 20000 now and if the capital gain taxes and the income tax turns out to be 5000 then j or mr kg he would only receive 20000 minus 5000 after selling off and the final amount will be 15000 so after discussing the example let me recapitulate everything let me conclude as you can understand by far now that stock options and the restricted stock units are offered so that you know the companies can hold on to extraordinary returns extraordinary employees but you know stock options or rsu of these of these options are quite different and the scope of each of them are diverse too so that's why understanding them separately is very important because it gives it options to think before applying so that's it for this particular topic thank you everyone for joining the session